they should release Croc 2 on the Switch. Why Croc 2 in particular? Because, Croc 1? Because it is Croc 2, specifically. Yeah. If you think about it, yeah, that's, that's a good game. That's kind of like having a Switch 2. <laughs> Both have two in the name. <laughs> can't argue with that so one. You, see? You can't argue with it. So you would get Croc 2 and everyone would first be really, really disappointed about there not being a Switch 2. But then Nintendo says, here's Croc 2 for the Switch. And then one would be like, ah, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so Croc 1 was called Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Yeah. But then it was this Croc 2. Like, he kind of stopped being the Legend of the Gobos in yeah. between the games. Yeah, like, yeah. He just became, it's, it's just Croc. Yes, it's just some asshole. Like Croc, the, the mediocre guy of the Gobos. Yeah. <laughs> Like, sometimes Super Mario stops being Super Mario yeah, he's when he's just, just Mario. Mario bro. <laughs> yeah. Just a bro. <laughs> it's kind of the same. Mario Kart. He went from being Super Mario Kart and it's like 64 of them now. It's just not that special anymore. <laughs> Welcome back to Tempered Expectations, the Nintendo podcast where we keep our heads cool and our expectations low. How low can you go? Uh, as low as this podcast can go. This is the Limbo episode. Yeah. It's not about the game Limbo, fuck no, we're, we're dancing. You can't see it because we're in a sound format, but we are yeah. Limboing right now. Oh, oh god, look how low Alicia is going. She's just going horizontally across the floor. I'm doing it. Though. You're doing it, oh my god. Oh, I wish I had a camera, you know? Yeah, wish we had a visual medium to express this stuff. Uh, this, I am Alicia, and you're Kiki. I uh, am? Um, oh, Yeah, okay. and we're, we're together in this podcast. We usually aren't together in a podcast. Yes. So it's been a while. It has been one of those whiles. Yeah. A, a non-specific period of time between so episodes. So what happened? What ha- nothing happened. That's the point. Nothing <laughs> happened. That's the thing. When you, you have a podcast like this, you started it the day of a Nintendo Direct. Yeah, exciting. September 1. Big, lots of new stuff, lots to talk about. But then you're like, how often do you do these? Like, how, how, how far do you go? And and we were like, one month later, let's just talk about Animal Crossing Lego and just some rumors shit. of rumors, basically. Yeah. So, so what's really interesting <clears throat> is that I think we might have been lured into the same kind of fervor that the that, Nintendo that, bros. The, that the Nintendo YouTuber guys are talking about. Yeah. You know, oh there's Switch news coming out every day. You are chasing the, the yeah, news. You're by chasing the news. Taking anything. Everyone is like talking any day now. Any day now. And we're like it's not gonna be a Switch to announcement. It's not gonna be a big direct. And things and- just kept going, and you know, p- because I was like, oh, everyone is saying that things are happening yeah. every day, but there is nothing really happening. <laughs> like not in the sense of, of what we're usually no. talking about, or what we have been talking about the two yeah. last episodes, which is mostly like discourse stuff and some news. Yeah, big news. So we yeah. were like wondering, like maybe do this as a monthly show. So in, in November, <laughs> it was like one little bit of news and they were like ah, ah so we were just waiting and then nothing big happened until the point of now where it's been like over half a year and like it's a bunch of small things and i guess like these are news anymore these are this is just history now yeah <laughs> i guess you don't come to us for the news you come to us to hear us talk about old news yeah. Because I guess you find it funny thanks for listening in the case of this episode you might be listening to hear me being very petty, uh, Maybe. <laughs> dancing on the corpses yeah. of, <laughs> of old discourse. Of, of, of old discourse. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so basically, every month it's been like, maybe we do an episode now and talk about this and but that. Then it, but then it's just like, no. But if we wait a yeah. month, then there will be other stuff. Yeah, but now it's just let's just empty the fridge, the trash can, the, the trash can, <laughs> and let's just have a clean slate. Because now we actually know when the next direct is. So we will get to that at the end of the episode. Because we're going to go chronologically. We're yeah. going to be really structured in order. I am, I am going to moderate this. So one. we can and just we... trample on yes. the bones of everyone who died. People died? Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, oh figuratively, like, metaphorically speaking. That's horrible. Yeah, but it is fine. They're, they're fine, uh, literally. Okay. Yeah, but metaphorically, they died when their dreams were crushed. (laughs) 
back in November, like right after the la- the last podcast episode, which was back in October, Nintendo announced all of a sudden, "Oh my God, guys, we're gonna make a Zelda movie." What is really funny about this news, and and this goes hand in hand with their other movie projects, they kind of just announced them on Twitter. <laughs> Which to me is like it's this not... is Miyamoto. This is Miyamoto. I'm calling you from inside of the base. <laughs> but he like what's really funny about it is that it's not the Twitter drops that we're used to. You know, you get a trailer, yeah, a little something. picture, or something. You know, because it's just like Miyamoto saying, "Actually, we're making a Zelda movie," and you're going like, "Yeah, well, no shit." Like after the Mario movie, you were always like, "Well, the next one is obviously Zelda." You know what's really funny about this? Yeah. Because I can speak from experience as like a transparency is two people. So yeah. if we were to make an announcement, I wouldn't be like, this is Kiki. We're making an episode of Tempered Expectations. <laughs> like, why do you need to specify that, Miyamoto? You're speaking on behalf of Nintendo in general. It's not really important that you're writing this tweet. I don't even <laughs> think Miyamoto wrote a tweet. No, of course not. It was his handler, like his little, <laughs> his his little <laughs> goblin person. <laughs> his like, secretary. Yeah. He's just like, okay, so start a tweet with this is Miyamoto. But we don't really do that on Twitter, Mr. Miyamoto. No, it's just, I don't fucking care. It's kind of like when old people... Uh, write a post on like messenger or in a in a text message and they write at the end of it their name oh yeah <laughs> yeah you know sign signs it off with their own name signs it send tweet love miyamoto <laughs> i mean i knew it was you you started by saying it was miyamoto <laughs> but the Zelda movie though what's interesting about it is that people were assuming <laughs> that it would be an animated movie made by uh Illumin- <laughs> no no, Illumination. Yeah, Illumination, yeah, of course. Illumination. The, the Illuminati were making it. Yeah, Illumination. People assume that. I never assumed that no. because I was kind of like, they're making more kids-oriented yeah, stuff. because they made a Mario movie doesn't mean they have like full rights yeah. to all Nintendo stuff. Or that... that they have to make all of all the movies. Yeah, exactly. Because I think that you, as Nintendo, you would probably go to other people that are more suited for yeah, something exactly, else. exactly. Because it's different, completely yeah. different kinds of movies, especially since this one is going to be live action yeah. so you wouldn't go to an animation company for that anyway I think and, it's... and it's like just because they worked with an animation company for a nintendo movie does that mean they can never do live action you have to stick to this you have to stick to it forever uh, first of all i don't really feel anything about this i don't care that much about it not as much as the mario movie surprisingly indifferent to this but i think it's probably partly because of how it was announced and like if we're going to the part where we then get a trailer but then you might be interested because just or like with the Mario like movie, or like a casting thing or something. Um, yeah, because now it's just this is gonna happen in a few years. And yeah, it's like I, I guess when it finally gets like really revealed, mm. that's when we're gonna get the same thing that happened with the Mario movie, where someone is gonna be announced mm. to be Link, and people are gonna lose their minds over it. They're going to be so mad about even it. Even if it's like a good casting. I think yeah, even if it is a good mad. casting. It's like people some guy you never heard about, mind. but he looks exactly like Link. His name is Link. Yeah. <laughs> Where Link did you Linkson. find him? Oh, in the woods. <laughs> I think that's just going to be glorious because my hopes, I'm keeping my expectations low. Yeah, Temporary expectations. It's like, I kind of hope that it's going to be horse shit. And that's mean. I'm sorry, uh, well, Salafan. No, wait, wait. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, Salafans. I'm not hoping for your benefit, of course, that it's going to be horse shit. No. Of course, I'm also like, if it's good, that's awesome. But if it is a bad Zelda movie, I think that might be hilarious. I think that will elicit more <laughs> joy for me, at least. Like a, a crappy spectacularly one. crappy Zelda movie. Like, it can look good and everything. But, like, it would be very funny if it's just no Zelda is not really something you can make a movie out of like they just kind of confirm that these can. should be games by yeah. this being kind of like all over the place or I something I hope that it has a script that basically goes into the video game stuff where you're like now we gotta get to the thing and then we gotta get to thing oh I hope I hope you know it's just one of those timeline. MacGuffin things where they have to get the next thing but he's, he's, at least he's collecting the pogs yeah the, the Ocarina of Time pogs the medallions yeah. And I think that would be hilarious because it would be so fucking boring. It's like that movie Raya by uh, Disney, the, the animated yeah. one with the dragon, which felt like a video game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was structured like a video game. He's collecting fucking shit from the temples. <laughs> the director for the movie is Wes Ball. Which Not is a, Uwe Ball. It's a great name, Wes Ball. 
I bet your ass he got some comments about that one when he was a kid. Catch the ball, West Ball. <laughs> and then they throw the fucking um, dodgeball in his face. And they're like, <laughs> nice catch, ball. <laughs> Fuck you guys. One day I'm going to make a Zelda movie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and he's like writing in his notebook. I'll show them. I'll show them. <laughs> yeah. So West Ball is making this. Uh, he is right now making Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. That I guess is he's premiering releasing right now. it. Yeah. So he's not making it anymore. No, he's he's, <laughs> he's finished. releasing it. He has finished it. <laughs> anyway, so that's what he has been been doing. So people were looking at that stuff. People were digging in his tweets, of course, because that's what you do. Where he was talking about like a few years ago or something, where he basically said that if I was making a Zelda movie, I would make it like Avatar, basically, like it was mocapped all all over the place, which kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah, but to, but to but the, more recently, he has uh, come out to, through uh, through some interviews and just said that I think it wouldn't probably go that far, you know, making everyone mo capped. See, but I think there are good ways of using this, like making the Gorons maybe. Yeah, because and the Zelda Sora is. And stuff. This is one of those parts where, like, Zelda being a game makes perfect. Like, you don't yeah. need to worry when making a video game <laughs> about a creature being unrealistic. Like, how do you? How do you make them make work? a Goron? That's probably you don't have to deal with in a game, but then all of a sudden it's like, oh, Link's gonna go to this place and it's gonna be all these Koroks. I would assume that a lot of the creatures and stuff are CGI, yeah, you're gonna have to do that, people. And I think it's kind of reassuring in some sense that he has been working on Planet of the Apes, for example, yeah. where that is a like big, yeah, that's big just deal. like those are the feature characters, yeah, CGI and it, and they apes. look really good. And the circus going off playing a monkey. <laughs> Ape. Ape. Yeah. They don't want to offend the apes. The best choice of action for a Zelda movie is to hone in on like the 80s fancy movie vibe. <laughs> Make it like a labyrinth, dark crystal, yeah. never ending story. They will not uh, do that. No, of course they wouldn't do that. <sighs> but like everything is puppets. Yeah. You're filming on like old film cameras. It yeah. looks old. Matte too. paintings. Yes, oh, a bunch of those. They wouldn't do that. We'll but I it. wish they did, because oh, I, I think that would be one of the coolest things ever. And I think like, Zelda would be the thing to do it with, because that's yeah. a big franchise. It has the nostalgic it's roots. In 80s. roots exactly, yeah. where like it would feel on point. And would also kind of maybe influence people to be like, no, we'll accept this now. Yeah. We will say, this is actually real cool. Maybe that then Lots makes of practical more effects. people do this. Yeah. We can fast forward a briefly... Because yeah. in, in, in March, there was the Mar 10 day. The Mario <laughs> 10th Day. 10th of March, which is the Mario Day. Mario where they, Day. They, they announced two release dates for Luigi's Mansion 2 and Paper Mario. It I don't even remember those. Whatever. Uh, yeah. What was more important be out. was that they said there will be a Mario 2 movie. Which, once again, is no shit. It was a big no shit situation, but they have to say it officially at some point. <laughs> it's Miyamoto. I'm here. <laughs> this is Miyamoto. This there will be Miyamoto. a Mario movie. He was on camera, though, so we saw him actually say it. He did say that. That was not his oh, he was on the Mo- He was on camera and he said it. Yeah, so... The, what, a, what a shame. They're making a Mario 2 movie. Or, did they call it the Mario 2 movie, or did you say... A new one. I don't know. It doesn't it's matter. Gonna, it's gonna be... It's a sequel. It's coming in April 2026. Actually, not that long from now, technically. Uh, technically, yeah. They must have started working immediately. Yeah. Probably I before mean, the last sense. movie came out. Yeah, also, makes that sense. means that 2026 and 2027 probably is gonna have a lot of Mario games. <laughs> like I'm just saying. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be on the Switch too. Yeah. It's gonna be like now. Yes. Now we're getting Mario Golf for the Switch too, and people are going like, "What the fuck, Mario Golf? <laughs> Mario Golf? Oh no, it doesn't have it uh, doesn't have dry yeah. bones." <laughs> I mean, we did talk a lot about the Mario movie when I came out. Just like yeah. Yeah, on on Transparency Second Layer, channel, there's a review. There's a review we made about that. So I don't remember exactly what we said, but like, what do you feel like about the Mario Two movie? What will they do? What will happen? <laughs> What's the big thing? What, what's gonna be the gist? Like, you see the trailer and go. Ah, Should I temper my thing. expectations? Temper your expectations. Okay, so my tempered expectations <laughs> is going to be... It's just going to be Yoshi. 
That is the most sensible yeah. thing, I guess. Yes, they're gonna be like. Gonna be... There's gonna be like my big thing. What I was hoping for in the Mori movie, which of course two big expectations. Uh-huh. But I was like hoping that the ending scene, instead of just being a Yoshi egg, because we saw Yoshi's in the movie. It's <laughs> in the trailer. The like, first trailer had Yoshi's. Like this is not a surprise. Sure, Yoshi wasn't part of the movie. No, but but like Mario we saw them in passing. Like so Mario it's just like, riding it's gonna a, be. Mario riding a Yoshi, and we're having like a probably what I'm gonna assume is like a uh, Jurassic Park slash Godzilla thing. You know where oh, you where, mean the where, last where Yoshi the Lost World where yeah, the T Rex is in yeah where city. Yoshi's are gonna take over Manhattan. Like you know, in the sense that uh-huh. they're gonna come into. The real world. Yeah, it is the like, flipping oh. thing where like Mari went to the mushroom world. Yeah. Now the mushroom world is coming to exactly, the Mario world. Exactly, because that's what you do in a the sequel. Yoshis are so invading. basically, Mario is going to have to <clears throat> save the Yoshi eggs, get rid of them from Manhattan, and he's going to be like, gotta get going. And he's like, yes, taking the Yoshi, and, and one Yoshi, of course, helps him. He, mm. Because he's going to be like that. Wah, wah. He needs uh, Yo- Mario's help. Well, but Yoshis are also very innocent and cute. So they, they, they wouldn't be like wrecking malicious havoc or yeah. being dangerous or anything. They would just be mischievous or like just yeah. kind of innocently Yoshi's confused Wooly about World. everything. Yoshi's Woolly World is being yeah. re-released in 2026 <laughs> slash 2027. Uh, uh, that's what's going to happen. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, definitely a Yoshi game. Th- guaranteed. Time. Guaranteed. So, so I'm thinking that like, you're going to have Yoshi's maybe walk around and eat everything. Yeah. Because they're exactly. hungry. Exactly. So Mario needs to save the eggs, just like in Super Mario World. And maybe then... Do you remember? Yes. He yes saved, and that, this is where we get in the Koopa Kids. <clears throat> maybe because... have a, like a B plot or, or like, no, maybe that's just the D plot as the plot yeah. <laughs> where, where Mario must find a food source to appease the Yoshis. Yeah. And maybe that plays into some like, oh my God, we got to get the bananas from the now, Kongs. What you need to remember too is that Bowser is still kidnapped, basically. Mm-hmm. So we have a r- r- role reversal here mm. too, a fun one, where, of course, this is where we introduce either Bowser Jr. Mm-hmm. or the Koopa Kids, or both. I think Bowser Jr. is more likely because one character is... Yeah, but if we're going by me. Super Mario World logic, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, all I, of I them have a Jos- Yoshi egg that you need to save. Okay, but I'm not going to structure it like a seven. No, I'm not thing. saying that. But I'm, what I'm saying is yeah. that I'm assuming that they're going to take some cues from that. Oh. And then they're going to take some cues from Yoshi's Island as well. I think you might be right on the money. Uh, <laughs> you could go like, well, because maybe it's Bowser a Mario 2 movie. So it's, 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 it's in Subcon and Wart is there. No, no, no that's not going to nope, happen. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, so this one makes a bit more sense, but also someone needs to save Bowser, and I, that's of course the Koopalings I, or Bowser Jr. I know I talked about this in that review, but I'm gonna say, I say it here. Like I, I really wish they would make one where it's just Wario. Yes, Wario and Luigi, okay. and they they are they are being the the Mario Bros. Okay, grifters. So, so I w- I they, was they're saying say, they're the Mario Bros. I and... think I think it's coming at some point because they're gonna make more. And I'm going to say this. What I was hoping for at the end credits of Super Mario the movie was basically that you would have a scene basically where you see like the the Mushroom Kingdom or something. And then we have a low shot uh, warrior walking into the scene and he has a little suitcase and he he scratches his ass and he says like, anyone want to buy my micro games? No, I don't know. Do you know something? Like he just says something and it's like, oh, it's Wario, (laughs) you know, because that would be funny. (laughs) Uh, Hey, you know where I can get some garlic? (laughs) Uh, Finally home. (laughs) (laughs) So that was the Zelda news and everything. Uh, Then nothing else happened in November. People are saying, oh, there's something going to happen. Something something more, something more this year. Nintendo can can release a new console at the end of the year. There was so many. They were clamoring. They were clamoring. Clamoring. The the, the Game Awards. That's where it's going to happen. Something big is happening on the Game Awards. Nintendo will show something at the Game Awards because they always do. They don't always do. No. And like it depends on what you mean by they always do. Because sometimes sometimes it's a Bayonetta spin-off. Yeah, like sometimes it's just them publishing something, like Bravely Default Here's 2. Here's a Marvel but, game. Yeah, a Marvel game. But I wouldn't say that's a Nintendo game. They did show, like, a trailer for the already trailered Mori movie. 
Yeah. It wasn't even a trailer. It was like a one minute snippet. And that was yeah. like, that's the sort of stuff to do. Here's a trailer for something we've already shown before. So, what did they show on the Game Awards last December? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Nothing. And people were genuinely like, could this be? Could this be the place where they show Switch 2? And obviously, if you're like, Why would if, you're a, a if, in, uh, if you're a tempered expectations oh, yeah. listener, oh. you will al- already be like, what do you mean? Of course, they're not going to show the Switch 2 on a on, you know, Jeff, of, on Jeff Keighley's fucking, Jeff fucking uh, the commercial awards. Oh, like, that's not what's going to happen. First of all. Who in their right mind would announce their console while there there are so many other fucking like this show? It's like four hours long. I know people are like, oh, but there's so many people watching. So what? This is a case where all publicity is not necessarily no, good no. publicity. Like Nintendo could just announce this thing uh, during a time when. They have all the eyes on see, them. See, see, Nintendo knows that they can just have an announcement one day and just take over the news for the yeah. day. Yeah. Like, nothing else. And that's the point. Nothing else can can, can be in it. Like, why would including, you? Including, like, real-life news. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's but, like, but, why but, would you share? I would say, though, I think they didn't show anything on these Game Awards because they knew that Sega would be showing five new revival yeah. games. Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Chris Taxi. Shinobi. And Yet Set Radio. They knew that would happen. And they were scared. They knew that Sega were back in town. Sega are winning. Sega yeah. are always winning. Kind of surprised Sega didn't show the Dreamcast too. Yeah, well, you know, we're building towards that. We're, we're, we're yeah, getting we're co- there. We're they, coming I mean, back. They renewed the copyright trademark for Outrun. That's so fuck. I, I don't know. Like, at the, It's big. <laughs> this is a Sega podcast now. Yeah. As, as I, as I will exp- it. Temper oh. your expectations. Katie. Can we talk about Sega? Yeah. Burning Please. Rangers is so fucking good. Burning Rangers is one of my favorite games. Will they bring so, back Burning Rangers? They will not do that. Uh, but maybe Knights. That's not impossible. It's not impossible. <laughs> I think that one has a better chance than some of the others. I think it's nice looking at like Shinobi, for example. That one that looks, looks great. I think neat. that one will do great because it looks like it's going to be a Metroidvania. So it's going to be in a bit of a niche Oh, you think thing. it yeah, yeah, looks sure. a little bit... Met- they didn't show much of it. It's just like a few snippets. <laughs> but it, you, you did say that back then. That it looks... Structurally, it's gonna the be. Level that it's it could gonna be a Metroidvania. It, it's not unthinkable, absolutely. And I not. think that, like having a ninja, it kind of makes sense. You know, one of the things about Metroidvania, specifically Metroid, I think the the Metroid side of the Metroidvania <laughs> thing, <laughs> is of course movement. Yeah. Sh- movement. Agility. Yeah, which is not as much in the sense of Castlevania. I think. It's no, it's m- Castlevania more... is more clunky, and yeah. you, you you get more hit points. Exactly. So I think like having a a ninja jumping around, maybe wall kicking a little bit, yeah. maybe you know hanging from yeah. a ledge, or like maybe maybe doing a little double jump and then a uh-huh. spinny. I think it's gonna happen. Yeah. It's uh, it's nice. It's it is nice, nice that they like that made me happy. That back. made me more excited. We'll than, of course have to than, see how than it any all... direct has ever done. We will of course have to see how it all turns out. Yeah, it could be crap. You know, you never know. I mean, the, the crazy taxi one is apparently an online game, which oh, I mean, well, it makes I mean, sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Although, <laughs> because you kind of need to, like, people talked about, like, why can't they just make it an arcade game? Because people don't really care. People don't care about arcade games. So, anymore. like, I think it makes sense to be like, oh, here's a here's a multiplayer thing. I I would hope that it has some some regular stuff, mm. like an arcade mode or something. I think it's, it wouldn't be too preposterous to add this feature, like, because you know, come on, if you have fully working online crazy, crazy taxi, taxi game, taxi. you could absolutely make a single play mode for it because not like it's just get this guy. Put him at point B. The one thing I think is a little bit unpredictable, or like I didn't think this would happen ever, is like bringing back Golden Axe again. <laughs> they keep trying to do that, and I'm not sure. Like, do you like Golden Axe? Oh, I, I don't care for Golden Axe. I love Golden Axe. I like Streets of Rage more. And that one also makes sense because they recently yeah. released another the, one. The, the recently, so like, I don't. And this I is think a that's kind of weird one. because they had already done. But one, this but, is a 3D yeah, one. Yeah. Cool stuff, <laughs> huh? St- yeah. st- streets of those rages. Yet yeah. said radio. Those are also streets. That's also coming back. Lots of stuff. And, and, Lots and of like stuff. I, I used to hope like th- this is what I'm hoping for as always with Sega that like th- they have so much IP, you know, they have so so many old franchises and it's like yeah. 
I could go with seeing one or two more of one, those One of again, my favorites. Like, one of my, my like favorites. a little Wonder Boy. Well, Wonder Boy or has have been, been brought back really more than one. Actually, Wonder Boy has been brought back as a price thing. Man, man but time. you can make a new one. Yeah, I would be okay with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's kind of want to open the door in... for a second to do more of that stuff because it's um, just like, yeah, make me happy. I, I think we're in the period, too, of companies realizing how valuable it is to have IPs, <laughs> which is, like, really funny to me. D these guys have recently, like, just figured out that... Wait, these are franchises? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's, like, one of those things where, like, Microsoft, for example, doesn't have anything. And they're like, fuck. Better get rid of those guys who were making games that were critically acclaimed. It's something we haven't had for fucking ages. Uh, kind of, Good stuff. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. No, they, like, have they have no they, idea they, what they're, they're doing either. Like, Believe me. It's the chicken screaming. So after the Game Awards, no Nintendo announcements. People were going like, well, it's the beginning of the new year. It could be a direct in January because... There was once, yeah, and people are going no. like, they could show a new Nintendo console right about now. And we were just thinking, no. that's not going to happen. No, of course we, we not. We knew that since we didn't make a Game Awards podcast, podcast there would be nothing in January because we knew nothing would happen in January. Yeah. <laughs> and Like you know, always, and behold, like clockwork, February happened. Direct. But, but yeah, we were kind of going like, well, February Direct, that's more certain. But then, then some rumors started going around <laughs> that there is no Direct. But of course, that just meant that there was no general direct. Yeah. This was a partner showcase direct instead. Which was basically a regular direct anyway. Because, I mean, like, I don't know about you guys, but when there's a direct, I don't only care about the Nintendo stuff. Most people only care about the Nintendo so stuff when in, there the, is in a, these circles. Yeah, like a mini part or whatever, where it's like mm -hmm. 20, 30 minutes, and they show a bunch of games. I'm just going, oh, this is just like a direct. They showed a bunch of stuff in that February direct. But I found it so funny because they were just going like, it's not gonna be one. It's not gonna be one. And then because it's the end. Yeah, and, it is the end. Like the now switch we're is right. over. We yeah, just can't even have any over. announcements anymore. Like, no one's gonna announce any game. The, on the switch, switch too could be released already in March. <laughs> did, did they say? They that? said that. <laughs> it could be. Oh. They they said it could be released as early as March. It may be during the summer. Oh, ludicrous. I would say that that February direct was. Pretty nice. We should have maybe made a video back then. Why? This podcast. is like drinking game. Yeah. Here is a video instead of podcast. podcast. Podcast episode. We should have maybe made one back then. We talked about it. We were used to busy. We were making videos. Videos. Of course. Of course we were. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sounds, sounds like, like we didn't do. Yeah. We were actually doing Whatever. It. But yeah, the, I think <laughs> they thought it was a good one because it actually also had Nintendo announcements. It's like, oh, I mean, Endless Ocean Luminous. Which we have. You got it in the mail yesterday. I was, we're going to play. I did not have time to play it. Oh, we're actually going to play today. Ours was delayed because we have May Day. It for, was May really 1st, badly placed. Right before for the weekend. Since you like this, getting this arrived yeah. until next week. And then Fucking everyone has already. I feel like everyone has already cooled down on that game <laughs> within a week. Oh, God. oh, it's fine. It's a, I don't it's care a more, what people it's a more think laid about back that. game. Yeah, but, but because I, they announced that, and we're just going like, "Damn, nice." Yeah, I, I like Mr. Wonderwater yeah. games, like like Aquanus Holiday. Uh, yeah, like it's just one of those series that people weren't expecting, of course. No. But at the same time, after we got the remake of uh, Another Code. Another Code I was like, no, anything from this period is open season. Yeah. Basically. Reassuring, not, not, maybe. Not, I, I like this. I like that they're doing like, oh, a lot of people maybe don't even remember this one. And, and Here's and, a little video game. You see, like, yeah, they're fucking doing stuff. They're, they're, they're making things. Uh, well, they, it feels they're good publishing. to be... It's Erika doing it. It's, fa it's f nine, nice to be, like, last years of the Switch... Having these games. This is like why I coming. want them to continue. Keep, continue to switch for as long as possible because that makes them do like, oh, it's another code. Here's Famicom Detective Club. Here's Endless Ocean. It's like, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take that because like when, when, when the new console is going to come out, it's going to be like, guys, 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 Mario Kart guys, is guys, back. Mario Kart. Guys, guys, Smash Bros. Guys, guys, guys. New Mario? And it's like, yeah... Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> was kind of holding holding out for for maybe like trauma center. <laughs> trauma center. I don't. No, even... that, that's not even Nintendo. No, right. that's not Nintendo. <laughs> it felt like a Nintendo game. It feels like a Nintendo game. Of course, we had a rare Switch Online games like RC Pro Am, Snake Rattle and Roll, Killer, Killer Instinct, Instinct, Battletoads, Battle, Toads, Battle, Battle Maniacs, Maniacs, and Blast Corps. Yeah, 
And Which but, was uh, a big uh, surprise. Uh, I, I was, yeah. I was like, oh, a good selection of games they're, because they're putting people, these on the Switch. People were already like almost like spelling doom to the Nintendo 64 <laughs> thing because the list is done. There is no thing else that they have announced. There's a bunch of games. And, that yeah, but it's like there. you know, it's more that the thing like the the little list, the vague list that we saw during the like last time they showed oh, yeah. it. They, they were like, oh no. We don't know anything oh. else, but dude, just fucking wait. You know that they will announce some more. Yeah. Like this always happens. It's like people have the like no fucking object permanence at all. <laughs> it's like as soon as there is no announcement, where is banana? There is nothing. This it's like the whole Nintendo thing that, has forgotten about. Mario. Yeah. So the whole thing that happened with the February direct basically is that it kept repeating. Like we had some Twitter things coming out and such, and people were like, "Wait, we only know what is being released until summer." And it's like, yeah, like always. Every year. Like what do we you begin the year not really knowing? Like what's this is the come most. Up, yeah. This is the most annoying thing that always happens. Every beginning of uh, begin, keeps going. Uh, repeats every, itself. Every year. Every beginning. Every fucking year. So every fucking year. Every beginning of the year, people are always like, "We don't even know what's gonna happen in the, the second half of the year." And it's like, yes. This is very <laughs> concerning, guys. Although this does mean that Switch Two will release. Re- next month. week yeah because month. as we can see we don't know the release dates of any switch games after summer the switch is winding down because this is like the switch has been winding down since 2022 according to these people because I like think even 2021 do you, do, you rem- do you remember when people during that time were like actually damn this might be the last year of the Switch. And it's like, what no, the fuck what? are you talking about? Like, come on, man. And mm. it's it's one of those things where I'm like, no, come on, guys. Like, we need to fucking Why would chill it wind down the console bit. before even announcing No, but it's always it's one. always so funny because you always have the fucking thing every single year, like I said. We don't even know what's going to happen in the second half of the year. Yeah, because you're in the beginning of it. You know what was <laughs> winding down? Yeah. That was... When the Switch was out, hot, everyone wanted one. Yeah. And the Direct began with, but first, here's some 3DS stuff. Yeah, that's winding Warrior. down the, the 3DS. Here's, here's, here's a Kirby game. And, and that it's one like, was winding down like, for two years. Yeah, yeah, people are going like, oh, f- I don't care, but get, get that shit <laughs> away from my face. When they suddenly like, oh, we're not doing 3DS announcements anymore in the Direct. It's all Switch stuff. People were fucking clapping and being like, yes. Yes, that was a winding down if I ever saw it. Yeah, of course the the direct also had uh, Penny. Yeah, Penny. Oh, pe- pe- oh, Penny's big boy adventure game of the. What I is it Penny. called? Penny's big breakaway. Penny's big game breakaway. of the. I lo- I lo- that game is so fucking good. It is really good. The Sonic Mania guys, they made a three D platformer, yeah. and they were like, "We don't need Sonic. Fuck you guys." And, and yeah, and they and they made like, oh, oh Penny's so precious too. I love, she's so cute. She, uh, she has his hair. She has a jojo. Yeah, she I'm has like, a jojo. Oh, it I, it's, has and, really and, fun movement. And, 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 and the fucking the, the song in the first world. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, when, when I heard it first, I was, I was just like, I was beaming. I was just like, oh my god, oh, oh. Like, I was, I was, I was like, so excited. Like, the, the game made, just thinking about it makes me so happy. The, the game kind of looks to me like how Sonic CD would look in 3D. That's kind of the... It, it looks like my, Mega my Drive. Kid. Yeah, it looks... Mega really Drive Amiga color, color palette. It looks almost a little bit like James Pond. It has a bit <laughs> the of... Roller to the Rescue. Uh, it also has a bit of treasure in it. Yeah, very treasure. Like this very is, treasure. This looking. could have been a treasure game. This has like the dynamite headed thing. That's the Emperor. Yeah. Treasure... Something about empire. Yeah, empires. They <laughs> hate Imperial them. treasure. They, they hate them. them. They hate empires. <laughs> um, yeah, so the dynamite had this stuff. Little, 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 little creature guy or girl, in this case. Yeah. Who, she's just, she's just a little, little girl. And and oh no, big trouble. <laughs> big trouble. <laughs> big trouble. Oh, no. so I ate the emperor's clothes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a good. Oh, game. that game is so good. We had like a surprise, like it's it's out now, and we were like, Penny, hell yeah, <laughs> we bought, we bought it, it immediately and played it, and it's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> such a good one. Uh, uh, on the other, we're like keeping 
our own save files, and like one person plays a world, and then the other ones is like, now I want to do it and go to their save file. We're kind of saving it. it. We, we haven't finished that game. We're like sipping that yeah. in a little straw, like. <laughs> so it doesn't end. It's a real good game. Uh, oh. On the other note, Mother Free. Oh yeah, because what's announced? When, when we in the West got the rare games, oh, rare games. We hate rare now. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> it's not Bunny Kasui. We do already have Bunny Kasui. How about we reward Bunny Kasui again? Yeah, Japan got Mother Three. The GBA NSO Which I service. think they should have. I think they were yeah, that, that's having fine. a little bit of Mother Three. I just found Mother it Street. was mostly funny from the perspective of people being really angry about it because I'm like I, I find it especially funny coming from people who have like mother free avatars and they they have mother free names on Twitter and their entire profile is just like their entire identity is mother free mother because, three poster 58 yeah because what I find especially funny about it is that most of you people have already played it and if <laughs> and, and honestly if you haven't <laughs> Like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Nintendo to release it? Like, what's the point? It's been out for, like, millions of years. Did you become years. the fucking Sega CD commercial? What are you waiting for, Nintendo to make one? Yeah, exactly. If you're still waiting for Nintendo to give you Mother Free, why are you waiting? You can download this game super easily, and I don't even think Nintendo themselves gives a shit. Like, I'm gonna, just for the record About here. that one specifically. Yeah, for the record here, I, of course... If they announced that Mother 3 will be localized That's and great. released, if, if it is, they make a new one, or they make, like, a new localization, or they yeah. just fucking buy out the existing one, like, for whatever shape or size, they just say, we're doing it now. That would be great. That would However, be great. However, I think maybe getting hung up on this for, like, we're going on 20 years now. Yeah. It's, no. It is time to let go. And I'm not saying that from the perspective of, oh, no, th like, they will never release it. If they ever release it, then great for you. Yeah. But until then, don't wait. If you really want to play this. I don't really feel like this is something this. to get hung up on. Now, like, if you really want to play Mother Free, you can you just can go play Mother you, Free. You have uh, all the facilities to do that. Yeah. You, you can do it right now. You can play that game. That's a yeah, game. Yeah, do it. You don't even have to pay anything. Yeah. You don't That's even, the secret. You don't even. But it's illegal. Dude, shh, no one shh, fucking cares. Shh, shh. Daddy Nintendo is listening. Yeah. <sighs> They're bad hearing. Number they can't really hear though. us whispering. Yes, so I found please. it so funny that, that that entire direct happened. And like after, and it's like a bunch of cool Instantly, stuff. A bunch yeah. of cool stuff. Like Endless Ocean, a bunch of rare games. Penny. Like, oh, it's just playing Penny going like, oh, this this is so good. And then you go on Twitter <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? Mother 3. And it's just like, God, I don't fucking care. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you having Mother 3 discourse again? Temper your fucking expectations. This is not even tempering expectations. This is just like... But Kiki, have you forgotten oh how Reggie fucking burned a guy because he asked for in, Mother 3? In a fucking free? robot shit. No, no, he did. No, it was for years real. Ago. It was for real. And it still hurts me because it's they did it to me personally. I Nintendo, burned at the stake yeah, for Mother 3. Everyone I know was killed. And I'm still alive, and I have to I have to live with the, these horrifying they're things. They're doing that this out of spite uh, towards me specifically. Yeah, they, they're doing it out of spite. They're showing that, like, no, you are not getting a mother three. You are getting a rare game instead. <laughs> <laughs> these shitty ass five game. rare games is equal to a mother three. Oh, oh, wouldn't think so. Oh. Instantly after this direct, of course. Because people were going, where's the fucking direct? And then there was going, there's going to be a direct in April. Yeah, because that's the last... Completely la wait, baseless wait, so, fucking so, claim. Yeah, so, everyone so. is everyone's ganging up on that one. It's going like, this is going to happen. I don't know if they believe it. They want it. They need it. Like, basically, what happened is like what always happens when this this is a thing. Because they're like, we don't know. What is happening the next half of the year? Nintendo needs to be upfront to us and talk to us and give us the information. Need to hold so, us, hold our hands, hold my hand. And, Please, Miyamoto, hold my hand. Look me in the eyes. And tell me. Kiss the lips. Tell me. When is Metro Prime 4 coming out? Yeah. <laughs> and like, this is the thing that people just instantly uh, went towards uh, April. 
Because that's long enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> We've been suffering long enough. And, and, like, I, and I think it's it's funny because I think a eight. lot of people uh, lost a bit of like the track of things right there somewhere. Yes. So I have to ask a question now. Mm-hmm. There's never been a direct in April. I think there was um, one time like 10 years like, ago or kind of, something. I don't know yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't I remember it doesn't no it doesn't matter though right. because there was like when we were like in March yeah, there's no precedent we were this. basically like because we didn't do the February thing we were waiting again because <laughs> because people were like oh it's gonna happen in April we were like, so well, we were like let's just see I guess we'll wait <laughs> and then like we were expecting April came and went like if we were if we were making an episode at that point you would hear us say i don't think there's gonna be any direct in april dude no. and i would say the next nintendo direct is gonna happen in june that's what i was gonna say i had planned all of that stuff in <laughs> as, the april as thing. a rule of thumb with nintendo as we know them right now expect three things probably a february direct probably a june direct probably September direct. It could not happen because all three of those have been left out in recent years. Yeah. During the, the 2020s. Could, it could be any other All All, all three there of those could... have been left out. But they are expected. You, you can expect them. Yeah. Expect those more than being like, it could happen in December. No. It couldn't happen so, in December. So the whole April thing, of course, like it could happen. It's not impossible, uh, obviously. That's not really the point. The point was more like from the perspective of w- where we were uh, in April, specifically because of the February Direct, where clearly some plans were rescheduled around here. Because as we're talking about here, like people were expecting a regular Nintendo Direct, one that mm. had a bunch of Nintendo announcements I, mean, I think and they stuff. had enough material in they there. They did around like with the more 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 10 thing yeah they had a bunch of trailers and announcements yeah. for the peach game the paper mario stuff Luigi's mansion uh, yeah they had stuff they could have made but one clearly yeah. something happened and specifically what i'm talking about is that because this was some kind of partner showcase thing which mm. happened last time specifically because of change of plans mm. right and that makes me think instantly like well would they do it do it in April? You know, that's kind of the thing because mm. in between here somewhere rumors erupt about there being internal delays for the Switch 2. And this is basically like internal in the sense that it is not actually a, a delay delay. No, because is... a delay can un- well there, there can be a delay that's not official of course but like yeah but it's like not in the sense that we would see it because in, we didn't really have a date before yeah. people were hallucinating dates before of course but like you know yeah so basically what what happened here is during this time there is a rumor cropping up that no actually the switch 2 is not happening in 2024 as all of these nintendo youtubers and and people have said mm. that that was going to happen and this was basically like Right at the moment here, mm-hmm. when all of this is going down. And suddenly, what we have been saying all along, Nintendo Switch 2 2025 is apparently the Con- new, uh, the, the new understanding. Yeah, it was controversial, but then all of a sudden... But the funny thing is that like we had like used a very logical progression, as we talked about, in depth in the last episode. That yeah. was the whole thing. They need to tell their fiscal year, new year report. Yeah. They, they need to tell the finance boys that... The finance boys. A new one coming. That's yeah. the first word. And then you need to announce it after that, the clock starts ticking at March. If you have never said anything about it before, like nothing can happen before March then. Yeah. So for it to be have been released this year, they would have been like, okay, new fiscal year. They say to the investors, it's happening this year. And then immediately after, here's an announcement. We can't just announce it the day before. You know, no. you can't do a Sega Saturn. And and this is this is what's particularly funny about the whole situation. We rushed it out. Yeah, so quick. Th- this is like the whole what is really funny about the situation because as we had talked about before, the whole idea of like them just kind of because a lot of people were talking like this thing, like this thing could be announced or, or showcased in, in March, March and it's and like, released in like May. And it's <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, th- I think this shows such a lack of understanding how these things works, like from a business perspective that I'm like, like, you don't even need to be a business expert or anything. No. Like, you just need to understand that you don't fucking just do that. Can and I you guys at- are looking at these things all the time. What I think is actually happening here. Uh-huh 
is basically that people are looking at the rumor mill, the fucking yeah, the so-called leaks. Yeah, blind at that shit. It, yeah. Exactly. They're looking at it so much that their they're perception of reality yeah. is being warped. Completely. So ba- basically, they have lost perspective of everything. So it's always right around the corner. Yeah, exactly. And you There's just no long the game here. You, you can't think about it as like, well, we haven't heard anything. Nintendo haven't said a word about it uh, as of that. No, no, no. Yeah. Have. But uh, as of time, Nintendo has not said a word about it. So maybe your expectation would be like, well. We so it's got to be at least more than a year away. <laughs> they would shadow drop it on fucking the game awards. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Like that wouldn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, because so, if your perception of it is, it's basically ready and done. They will release it any day now. So 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 then you will think the next anything will be when they announce it. Yeah. The next showcase. The next month. The next tomorrow Di- direct the yeah, next everything. now this is funny to me personally because when this rumor came out i was like i mean no shit like people were almost almost like talking about it as if this was decided right there at that moment mm. but no this was clearly thought about and, and like going in motion for months can i, can I say i just love the idea that people were like complaining about, oh my god it got delayed about a thing that nintendo at the point had, had not, not even yeah mentioned. we don't even know they if hadn't... it's <laughs> we still don't know if it's actually true like the ru- the rumor that yeah, it we, has, was delayed. We're going to have to need like another Giga Leak for that shit. Because However, we only knew about the, the Switch having been delayed from, yeah. a Giga, from the Giga Leak, I think. But what is funny about it. So this is probably when this was revealed or like uncovered. Yeah. I would say that it was probably months in the making already. Yeah, of course. And I think. It's but, not a and, small and, decision and like my, to make. What we were basing all of our stuff about in, in October and November patterns yeah it was just what we had seen right there and then Mm. and it's so funny to me 2025 is suddenly on the map like it's actually a possibility people are losing their minds they're being like we have to wait an entire year oh no oh no it's over and and people are like kind of doing some uh, some damage uh, damage control (laughs) because it's like no i I never said no i (laughs) know I never said it definitely was going to happen 2024. Dude, you were. (laughs) Shut the fuck fuck up. up. You were so certain. And I'm like, fucking hell. And this is where I'm dancing on the bones of everyone. (laughs) Because I'm like, ha ha ha. I tempered my expectations. (laughs) You fucking, like, I'm, I'm so petty. Because this is You're pretty petty in a funny way, you know. Because it's one of those things where I'm like, dude, of course not. Like, what are you talking about? This is so obvious. And now... I don't want to say I was right, but I am right. I was so right. In fact, like clockwork. Like, I'm, I'm just saying the ne- the time you will hear it at, at the earliest is during the next financial meeting, where Nintendo is gonna talk about stuff with their with Investors. their fucking people. Seventh of April, uh, no, no, May, of May, May. yesterday. <laughs> the one that is gonna talk about this fiscal year and not the last one. And I'm like, that's when you're going to hear about it at the earliest. Yeah. And if you don't hear about it, then you're in trouble. Then you're in trouble, because that, yeah. Because, because if they're means... not saying at the fiscal report that there's yeah. going to be anything, then there won't be a the, thing. Exactly. Then there's not going to be a single thing. Yeah. And you're in trouble. That means that it's probably not going to come out until like, <laughs> like <laughs> Even further, further into the, the fucking uh, but, future. But it did happen. It happened. Like clockwork. And one of the best things because also. You, basically, you were just looking at like, well, how did the last one happen? Okay, yeah. so he's taking some notes here. But everyone else is going like, it's time. It's about time. I it's feel happening. it in my bones. Yeah. It's about time. It's <laughs> Saying, about You time. say it's about time for four years. It's, yeah, it's, at The some time point. will be about time. Yeah, it, at it, some it point. will be about time at some point. Like, you will be correct. Just yesterday, Nintendo releases a little little press release statement on their uh Japanese on their twitter account. and it says this this is for <laughs> president <laughs> of nintendo we will make an announcement about the successor to nintendo switch within this fiscal year it will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of nintendo switch back in march 2015 we will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024. But please, be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. And I'm like... 
You wrote a quote, tweeted that you just wrote, told you in like small, small letters. letters. I told you. I told you. I told you, you this going was like, going to happen. Always spin on transparency. Like clockwork every time. Yeah, but like it's, it's just, it, because honestly, I don't want to take too much credit for this because this is really low stakes prediction. This is the lowest stake ever. Like, honestly, because it's just like, okay, so big fucking tech company are going to tell their investors that they're doing a new product. Yeah. But products you only do like once a decade. And of course, because it's in the report, it is in the talk, of course they're going to announce it to the world as well. <laughs> they're not going to keep it secret or anything. This is so fucking lukewarm. It's textbook. <laughs> it's textbook. It's a lukewarm prediction from my part. And then the whole thing that I was going to say about the direct in June, that that also, like, smack. What a right shocker. In there. And they're specifying no information there. And yeah. I'm like, yes, because once again... You motherfuckers always talk about us not knowing the latter half of the year. You learn that in the June Direct, you fucking... <laughs> and, and I'm like, yes, so now we have everything. Basically, have everything. within the fiscal year means somewhere between now and March of next year. Yeah, but if it's not going to be in the June Direct, so, so it's not going to be yeah. in May... It's no. not going to be in June, like exactly. It could be so it's like, a, a, very likely so more, more within correct. the next two to eleven months. <laughs> so more, more correctly, it's in between June and April of next year. Basically, mm. it's when you will learn something about this machine. They will show it. Yeah, or they will announce it. Make an announcement about it. Basically, and I, like... I find this funny because, like, this is a little bit like looking at the words. This, is, of course, translated from Japanese. Uh, I'm not gonna look that up now, or whatever. It uh, is officially translated, though. Yes, it is officially translated, yeah. and it is like an actual business statement. So I, I guess it needs. It probably pretty, has pretty, been pretty curated. Yeah. But basically, I, a lot of people are going like, "Can it release within this fiscal year?" And I'm gonna look at it and say, "No." No. Because they're saying, we will make an announcement about the successor. I think for the purposes of a fiscal report, like they're telling their investors this, I think it would be imperative that they not just say, we will announce it, but that we will release it. Yeah. This is the stuff you invest for. We don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would have to... I, I will, I'll, I will, like... Yeah, record this. Assume. We're recording this. I am making a bet. Ma it's make some not big. releasing within this next fiscal year. This fiscal year. Yeah, the, the the one that goes until March 2025. Yeah, yeah. It will not release in this period. They will make an announcement because I think I think this indicates yeah. that this is what they put emphasis on. It's like, do do you put emphasis on the announcement or the thing that will happen? Of course, some people would probably say that there is still a chance that it will be released in 2024. I don't think so. I I don't no, think it's on no, the table. No, no. They, they, um, that would have to be the, the quickest turnaround. Yeah. I, don't I don't want to be in a hurry either. No, absolutely not. Especially if we're going to learn about the latter half of the year for the Switch, mm. uh, which I think... Uh, we should focus on now, of course, anyway. I don't think, because you know this, you will probably assume that it. the next time you will hear about this thing mm. is probably, maybe, if you're looking at previous stuff, then it could be like in September, between September and, and November, somewhere mm. around there. In autumn. Right before the Christmas season and all that stuff. And not a release then, I mean a, a showcase of what yeah. it is. Or like a trailer like we saw with the Switch. And then a, a real showcase of it all a bit yeah. later. I mean the question is if they would have like before or after a September direct. Because the announcement of a new console would affect what will be, would be shown yeah, in but September I think direct. I think they might skip a, a September direct in general. To focus on could happen. that, and it that's just happen, you, know, you know, that's just baseless speculation. Yeah, but anyway, that's too far off. I, for it, this exactly. Point, I, I feel it was vindicating for me personally. Oh yeah, you, you were because I was like, dude, shining. This is like bright. this is this is brilliant because I'm like, there's so much fucking shit going on, mm. like in these spaces where we're talking about supposed leaks and rumors and and stuff, and and people have been so snowed in. Like we said, lost perspective because They're every day... They're not tempering their expectations. Yeah, because every day people feel like, oh, it's so close. It's right around the corner. Mm. And it's been like that for two years. And I'm like, oh, you know what? <laughs> like, you should all chill because these things don't mean anything unless no. there's actually something said. Do they 
actually believe that or is, <laughs> or it, is just it just the hype? desire for it that like yeah they would love for that to happen because I... like in general i think i think it's kind of silly to some extent where we have all of these supposed leaker people and and like rumor mills and stuff that are going around people who are pushing all of these ideas mm. all the time and it's like maybe maybe you should all fucking chill out a little bit and try to actually because i don't think what we're doing is necessarily super deep ana- analysis or anything but no. maybe you should cool down a little bit and and just chill out like take it with a grain of salt look at what we're actually like what we're actually getting the real yeah like stuff. because i just feel like all the rumor stuff <laughs> at this point this feels like it, it, it Maybe it's real, maybe it's completely baseless. I don't like because they were saying stuff like, oh, switch attached, which is a horrible name. So it's probably <laughs> real. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, and then they're going like, oh, the new Joy Cons have like attached by magnets. It's like that, that was sounds gr- like that... it's just gonna slip out of your fucking grip. That, that was a thing for the Switch, the original Switch, yeah. like a little patent thing, I think. Which is like, so yeah. so that might as well just be someone who picks picked that up from the yeah, the old like, rumor. I don't mill. know. It's just like I I, I look I at those know. and it's go. Like, I don't fucking care. No, like, exactly <laughs> because it feels at like this point, looking at it doesn't those, it doesn't feel worth it to go delve into like oh is this a thing around because like it, give it about half a year from uh, now let me see it first before i start like buying into the idea yeah. of magnets i don't even know what magnets I, I think, would do for I a game console i think depending on how far away it is if you wait about half a year from now then you might have actual like patents and and like yeah. rumors about production and so <laughs> on that might be going in the right direction because that's basically what happened with the original Switch. See, I'm not interested in being correct about the no. Switch to... Uh, what it is, or whatever. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> because it doesn't the right matter. Words. Because it, like, who fucking cares? No one's gonna listen to this in hindsight anyway. Like, maybe, maybe because you're really bored and you need something to listen to, we're like, I mean, like, thanks. But, I mean, like, <laughs> it feels like you would go be a really weird person going back in spite and going like, <laughs> transparency you didn't predict the Switch too correctly. <laughs> I mean, we were petty about yes. this, but I mean, those predictions are a lot more... Uh, I mean, we're I allowed think... to be petty, come on now. The only trustworthy leaker. <laughs> the only trustworthy leaker, yeah. Yeah. Puro. Puts up a picture of the old Nintendo, Nintendo World, World Championship, Championship card. Yeah. And people are instantly, of course, just like they always do, oh, it's... It's about the Switch 2. They were pointing they at the SW2, which had a bunch of numbers, which included 5-7, which would be M- May 7. And, like, I-, I guess... My problem here... You're really my big staring problem here, at this. Yeah. And, and, like, it's a bit of confirmation bias of going, let's ignore the other numbers and look at these two. And it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. because my, my big problem... Is that this is conspiracy thinking. Yeah, this is... This is actually fucking... When you're getting so far that you're looking at numbers and, you, like you said, ignoring other numbers and then coming to the conclusion that this is what it means. Because I would have to say for that in general, unless the photo is doctored, which I don't think it is. No, because then people would say, oh, it's Photoshop to be this. Then it's definitely... Yeah. But like, Turns out. Th- th- this is then just the biggest fucking coincidence that that cartridge had SW2... And those two, like yeah. Nintendo, didn't plan this. <laughs> so, what what was Pioro's leak about? It was Nintendo World Championship. <laughs> yeah, Occam's Racer wins again. <laughs> yeah, a little downloadable game where you do the little challenges in NES games, and it also has a special edition that costs a little bit more. Yeah. Where you get a bunch of goodies. You you get some pins, some like postcards, NES. Yeah. Covers. I don't like. Why would you want that? <laughs> the European one has the American covers. I don't like that. No, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that shit. And um, the Japanese one got two the, fucking Famicom yeah. controllers. The, 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 the Western a... one ha- has a little flimsy a replica of an NES court. That's not the Nintendo World Championship court, like the real rare, rare one. No, it's just the cover of the Switch game on. Yeah, on a little replica NES cartridge thing. And I'm just like, I don't get this. Why? Because yeah. Nintendo World Championship, as it is, is such a niche thing. It's in the movie The Wizard. 
Look, I'm not an American kid in 1990, so yeah, so you don't have. I that, don't uh, care about this no. stuff. So, like, I, I saw Super Mario Bros. Free for the first time. In I that feel movie. like the sort of person who would be so into the idea of Nintendo want, World Championship yeah. that he would want a replica of the fucking cartridge. Wouldn't they want one that looks like the actual? Cartridge. cartridge yeah the super rare one they would because want the authenticity. that's the fun one that's the authentic one i f- feel like this is just a mismatch of who would want this i i don't get it yeah also like i have nes cartridges they're not really good for decoration yeah they're kind of ugly <laughs> yeah they shit this is just so the a... japanese one having like here's just two functional controllers it's like I wonder if that I'll has so that I wonder if well, I, I won't get it. But, I, you know. I wonder if that has something to do with the manufacturing itself. Like mm. you know how Nintendo in Japan do some of the production themselves in yeah. Japan, which might be one of the logistical. Yeah, maybe things it's easier to just throw some surplus controllers into I don't those know. boxes. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, but it's like it, this is not for me, obviously, because the the intended audience is like. People who grew up with the Nintendo Entertainment System and... The Nintendo World Championships. Yeah, and the <laughs> Nintendo World Championships and the movie The Wizard. Yeah. Which isn't me. I've never seen that one. Oh, you haven't? I actually haven't, We should no. see it then. California. California. That's, that's what I know. I say, California. Yeah, California. <laughs> and, uh, Where are you going? And uh, when he says... California. Power Glove. Oh, it's so bad. I love the Power Glove. It's, it's so, so bad. Because I've seen those scenes. I don't know if I need to watch the yeah. movie. Uh-huh. I've seen the scene where he's at the, the, the World Championship. And this, this fucking... Uh, maybe this is like explained in the movie because I haven't seen it. But this fucking kid, Nintendo genius... Yeah, the Nintendo Knows genius how to kid. find the fucking warp pipe <laughs> in Mario 3 first time he plays it. Yeah, the warp whistle. He finds that one. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, he's a brilliant kid. He's a very brilliant kid. And I must say, for being in a high stakes competition like that, he is taking a bit of a risk. He's messing around in Mario 3. Yeah. That's the kind of person who this is for, specifically. Like, it has a certain ex- aesthetic because we're born in the early 90s. Uh, you're 91, I'm 92. Mm-hmm. This we is weren't clearly, even born when this no, happened. This is clearly not necessarily. For us, no. and I, I can say this: I'm, I'm not like I don't really care about anything about this certain release. Yeah, but uh, it feels th- very alien. Th- to th- yeah, me this in is some like way. a weird '80s nostalgia kitscheness that like I've never really clicked <laughs> with. Because for me, another part of it is like nostalgia in that way. If like, if I'm going like, oh, the '80s, the, the '80s games, I would hone in on the actual like you know nostalgic historical artifacts of getting an, an, an NES with some NES cards yeah I, like, like buying a, wait, a, a replica I thing with some postcards that, yeah. like I don't it's kitschy it's just like a little like just flimsy I, it, I have an idea it, it feels so cynical you know I have an idea mm-hmm. how about mm-hmm. they release a small little box Okay. That looks like the NES, mm-hmm. and it plays NES games. Mm. Yeah, and we call it the NES Mini. No, no, maybe not. I don't, know. I don't know what you're talking about. Probably wouldn't work. No. No. Oh god. I remember when that happened. That was during the time when we were talking about the Switch coming out and stuff. When the entire rumor mill of that happened. The, 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 Very the, exciting. So did all the patterns and everything for that thing used to fuck up the the rumor mill? Because that was the thing I don't remember. when, when, I think when the Switch did. Pro was uh, the big hot thing. So you had the OLED Switch, but we also had the, the, the <laughs> Zelda Game & Watch. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, right. Which, which <laughs> because they, they were manufacturing those as well. So you had like these specifications for like a small handheld know, system yeah. and people going like, is this What Switch the fuck? This is, really, this is a really small console. How weird. <laughs> it is it funny. It only has two buttons. It is funny. It is funny. <laughs> I think I think it's a bit funny because I think the the Nintendo World Championship thing when people was wondering if it was about the Switch too, like it, it's so emblematic of the whole rumor mill yeah. and where we were going because so close to that we we're like talking about what what is actually going on. Yeah, we don't the know what's coming. Oh, here's May. another game coming, but we don't know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, and this is what I'm just like. I I mean I'm in this position right now where I'm like, you know what? You're listening to too many fucking people. Well, I think that all of those people should learn to do one thing. Yeah. And that is... What is it? 
I'm gonna say one thing before you say that. I think one person who who you should follow on YouTube actually, who is kind of an up and comer at the moment, is Nintendo Forecast because we kind of found him before a lot of other people did mm. when he was just having like a little bit of like 500 views and stuff. Mm. He's actually gotten a bit more exposure lately, mm. and I think you should check him out because he's doing some the good whole gist analysis. The that channel is that he's doing Nintendo analysis, but actually kind of sourcing it in analysis and it's called the nintendo forecast too. because he always puts a little percentage approximation of like what he thinks the, the likelihood of something is and then he actually tallies he recently did that he tallied his first year of predictions and showed that like accountability what was, what was important to him also was that the fact that the percentage stuff was kind of on point so making a bunch of like 50 percent 50 percent when that does not in the end amount to 50 percent of correct uh, correct yeah so even if we wanted the the results to actually be kind of accurate so so like he was trying to uh, adjust himself in in a way and i think that's commendable because he wants to be held be able to be held accountable for his stuff and be like no i said this for certain and that's great i love that Uh, and and, and, and it's also often very level-headed he said something that i had never heard anyone say before and it's just like wow you know what this is true that there are no Nintendo games dropped in August ever. <laughs> because that is like the vacation month in Japan. There's just nothing. Mario yeah. vs. Rabbids, which was a Ubisoft game, that was like the only one. When people all, always go, maybe they'll drop this in August. No, they won't. They just, <clears throat> they will. Ever since I heard it, it's just like, it's true. They don't do it. And I saw no one pick up on that. People still keep going, maybe it's a Switch 2 in August. And it's just like, well, from what Probably I know now, no. <laughs> Probably not. But I mean, that's just a tip. Mm. Because I think he does some uh, some needed work when it comes to this stuff. Well, That isn't as lowbrow and, mm. and uh, I guess, unfocused as this show. Well, where we are being petty, which he is not. Oh, about, yeah. <laughs> about being correct. We're just two bitches bitching. Yeah, we're just two bitches bitching. But, so. you know, we also, I think we contribute one good thing to this whole conversation. Yeah. And that is, of course, that everyone should temper their expectations. Always temper those fucking expectations. Always do it. Temper the expectations! You have just listened to a podcast called Tempered Expectations. It's a Nintendo podcast, but it's not the only thing that we do. We also make some cool, exciting videos on our YouTube channel, Transparency Boo. That's where you can find all kinds of weird things, like, can you believe it? A Pikmin video that is talking about how it's about colonialism. And capitalism. Yeah, how wacky, wacky, wacky world. And you can actually watch all of that right now. There's a lot of that stuff over there. Go check it out. Gosh dang it.